Hello, welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. And this is a little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And, and we're still out, out and about, kind of getting away from the missus. Just driving around, taking in some pop culture. Yeah. Right now we are talking about great, rememberable death scenes. That's good. In the horror genre, please. Not, not in, in the, the si horror not genre. In the horror genre. Don't be whipping out stupid, like, sci-fi stuff. And then he goes, always, he always goes right for the sci-fi or the um, action adventure. Remember when Bruce Willis flipped out the gun and said, ho, ho, ho? No. Talking about horror. Now I'm talking about those scenes that kind of like, especially in the early days of in the 80s horror, where they wrote it and you knew a substantial amount of the budget went to that one shock. Like the, the, the scene in Saw where the uh, the guy had the thing that snapped on his head. Oh, the reverse bear trap? Ooh, yeah, there you go. What, what, what are you referring to? I was referring to the one on... Oh, you... Yeah, yeah. That, was, uh, that was pretty memorable. Going back, like I said, back into the 80s a little bit, one thing that comes to my mind, and I'll never, it'll never escape me, is Johnny Depp's death scene in the bed. Where he, Freddy Krueger's hands come right out, just drag him under. And it's just like a geyser of blood. Ridiculous amount of blood, and it just comes shooting out of that bed. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That You know that like, they wrote that into the, into the script, and they, they wrote it into the budget, because they saw that one coming along. Yeah. Kind of they had to build the room upside down. That was like the old then, faithful. Oh my gosh. And it just kept going in. And, and then like you see corners do that quick pass and the cop says, you don't need a uh, stretch up there, you need a mop. That's <laughs> an awesome, awesome quick moment. Uh, another good memorable death scene is Kevin Bacon. Dude, I'm glad you, I was going to go there. <laughs> you, 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 you didn't go there. Yes, another scene, you know, of a unknown actor at the time. Uh, you know, Kevin Bacon is one of his first films. I guess Shagler. he didn't cut loose. That scene was brought to you by the mastery mind of Tom Savini. And a really long spear. And a bag of ice in his rubber throat. And it's, it's just gonna, it's, yeah. You can hear the crunching of the ice as they jab that thing right through the rubber neck. Man, that, some, uh, that, that, made, that made history. There was such an iconic scene that they, in the uh, part three, they kind of relived it. It was in the 3D cheesy third part three. But if you look at the magazine, the person who gets it in part three is actually reading a fan issue of Fangor magazine. One of those little side notes that they like to stick inside movies that really hardcore nerd, horror nerds like me wouldn't catch. Okay? Alright, another really memorable death scene is, um, I forget the name of the actress in the movie, but it's in the movie The Car, where she's talking on the phone with her, her boyfriend. And you see the headlights in the window. And you see the headlights in the window. way off in, in the, the distance. In the window. And you're like... And she's on the phone. She's like, I can hear the engine of this horrible car. I think I hear the engine of that car. And then... Awesome. That was an awesome scene. That's just like a scene you're like... You gotta wonder, if that really happened, what would that body look like after that? Could that actually really happen? Well, no, a lot of that in the movie, but like, imagine if you could get, Dude, you're cooking my eyeballs again here. There. Yeah, there well, we it's go. like 10 degrees in here. I know, but it's like 90 in here. You can have a thunderstorm when we open the car door. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, to the 70s to a, a particular death scene that stayed with me. There's no doubt in every, any guy's mind the shock value of... I spit on your grave, castration tub scene. Ooh. Whether the actual castration didn't do it for you, it's the fact they give you that quick glance, that glimpse of the, the guy on the stairs who bled to death out of his crotch. That's not only a bad death scene, but that's like a lesson in stupidity. But if a girl you raped a, you know, a week before invites you to take a bath with her, don't do it. Uh, yeah, I, especially when all your friends are just disappearing. Now it's a friend, just don't do it. One of the more memorable mainstream ones is the final 
killing of Drew Barrymore in the beginning of Scream, where she's just screaming for her mom and dad who are in the driveway about 100 feet away and she can't talk because they're like <laughs> that's in the camera tilts a little bit and it gets kind of weird and then if that doesn't get you enough right there when the mother comes out and sees her hanging she's hanging from the tree and her testicles are actually touching the ground gross yeah. it was really funny because that scene was so shocking to get an R rating they had to shorten it so what they actually did is they cut frames out in the middle that's why you see in that particular scene it goes dun, 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 dun. and uh, that person made it more sh scary and shocking than the initial long you know zoom in that they originally had planned that's one of the many things Wes Craven had to deal with going through the release of that film and that's one of the things that backfired on the censors because it's much more shocking that way because I've seen the original what they were supposed to do and it's like well it's cool but it, you know it almost gives you enough time to mentally digest it as fake but seeing a jump like that just it's maddening well that's the thing though a lot of a lot of the things that sensors do they don't realize that it actually makes it scarier sometimes yeah way to go guys another one of my personal favorite death scenes maybe everybody's favorite a, a lot a lot i mean it's very popular alfred hitchcock's psycho the shower sequence but janet lee gets it boom With 115 camera angles in uh, a minute and a half. It's just, it's, it's just crazy. Or something like that. I don't know the exact numbers, but I do know it's a, a tight, crazy, crazy uh, cut. If you learn the violin, you know the theme to that one. Now, stepping outside the classic horror genre for just a moment, I have to point out one of the most shocking death scenes. It, it just blew me away. Apocalypto. Where the guy... Did you see that? Oh, which one are you talking about? The guy gets his face eaten by a cougar. Ah! Ah! Okay, yeah, that's what <laughs> And then it's, it's, the cougar just like bites his face. And it's like, there's like a, a half a second, a second, and then you, all of a sudden, just from the back of the head, you, you hear this horrific sound. Like, I, 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 I ah! And then you, you don't even see really, you just see the guy's face kind of like, his chin up here and his forehead here go like yeah. And then ah! Ah! Pretty good. <laughs> That's memorable. Yeah. Getting killed by a cougar. Yeah, that'll do it. That's just that sound. <laughs> that'll do it. Horrific. <laughs> what was the other one? I can't remember now. Okay, as we're wrapping up our show here, I, I feel the need to bring up at least one more shocking death to Kid in the Wheelchair. Ooh. Who gets it right in the head. Ooh. And not only does he get it right in the head, he rolls backwards down the stairs. And he was just about to get some from the girl, too. Oh, yeah, that sucks. That movie broke the rule. He didn't even get any. And then he got it. There is one more death scene I'd like to throw in there. What is that, sir? Red Dragon. The remake, actually, that they did uh, with Ralph Fiennes. The reporter, he ends up on the wheelchair, and he's, like, lit on fire, and he's, like, you know... Oh, that's wrong. Then he was, like, he's, like, lit, lit on fire, and he's, like, going right in the parking garage, and the, the garage uh, the garage guard sees him, like, rolling by him. That's bad. That's bad. Well, that's a that's a memorable death scene. On this note, my name's Andy. And I'm Drew. Be careful out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>